Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We cannot wait to talk to you today about the third and final metric of the Dividend Diplomat's Dividend Stock Screener. Smash that subscribe button, give Bert and I a thumbs up as we bring it home, we round third to talk to you about the third Dividend Diplomat stock metric, dividend growth. So in this episode today, we're gonna to talk to you about what is dividend growth rate, why it's important, and we're gonna show you an example of dividend growth live in action. So wait, what is dividend growth, Bert? Yeah, that's actually a very simple, simple concept. You receive a dividend from a company, the dividend grows going forward on an annual basis. So your payout increases from last year to the current year. And how does a company go about increasing their dividend? That's also pretty simple. A company increases their earnings per share. They increase their free cash flow. So management looks around with this extra money and says, hey, we're also going to increase our dividend payment to shareholders as well. Right. Now, but why should you care as an investor or a dividend investor? Because at least for us, we're investing in the dividend stocks as one of our means to reach financial freedom by receiving dividend income to pay for our expenses. Now, what we also want to have happen is we want that income to grow. It's the same thing as planting a tree and watching that tree blossom. We want to plant our capital or money into a company and watch that income blossom or grow. Yeah, thank you, Andy. I mean, increasing your payout and watching your income stream grow is a very crucial topic. One of the items we also just talked about in an earlier video showed how your cash is dying in your savings account because it's not growing at a rate that's faster than inflation. So similarly with dividends and dividend income, we want our dividend street to go grow at a rate that's greater than the rate of inflation. Right. Now, the S&P 500 on average has a dividend growth rate, I would say, Bert, what, between 7 and 10 percent? Yeah, I think that's fair when you look at all the companies. Right. So, you know, when I've compared like the ETFs or the mutual funds of the S&P 500, such as VOO or VINIX, you know, we typically see that growth rate uh, per year on average. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty strong growth rate. They have a nice moderate yield of around 2 percent with the market. Have a nice, so your dividend is around 2%. It grows another, another amount in that range, and it's perfect. Right. Now, for example, if you had $1,000 of an investment and that investment yielded you 2.87%, you'll receive $28.70 per year. Now, if that dividend growth rate was roughly 7%, that $28.70 would actually grow to $30.70. So that's like an example where without you doing anything, your passive income or portfolio income can grow by itself by just dividend growth. Yeah, and you know that example sounds an awful lot like one of our top five foundation stocks for your dividend portfolio, Johnson & Johnson. Lanny, were you thinking of Johnson Johnson when you were going through that example? Bird, it's hard not to think about good old J&J, &J, good old reliable Mr. Dividend King themselves. Ah, oh, the Dividend King. You gotta love it. So, all right, since Lanny was clearly profiling Johnson & Johnson, let me just give you their cold, hard facts of their last dividend increase. During the pandemic, Johnson & Johnson was one of the few bright spots that still increased their dividend when all the companies around them were cutting their dividend. It was great. Lanny and I loved it, and it was news that we couldn't wait to share with everybody that would listen to us. So during that time, Johnson & Johnson, in April, increased their quarterly dividend from $0.95 cents per share to $1.01 per share. That was a 6% dividend increase right there. So, Lanny, your example almost got it right. You had the 7%, but that's actually closer to their five-year average. This year was just slightly under. Right. So you're saying, Bert, by owning Johnson & Johnson stock, did your income go up by over 6% then? Yes, it, yes indeed. Wow. Now, what if you actually consistently invested thousands of dollars into dividend stocks and your portfolio wasn't worth $1,000, but it was worth $500,000? Yeah, I think you can carry the two. You can look around. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty easy to see how fast your income is going to grow and how much each one of these dividend increases will materially impact your dividend income. You know, and to use an actual number-based example, if you own $500,000 of, of, of investments and that was something that you had built up over the course of obviously not one, not two, two. not three, not but, four, <laughs> but multiple <laughs> years of investing um, and you're able to build that $500,000 portfolio, 
if you had an average dividend growth rate of 7% and you received a 7% you know, growth on that, your income you know, would grow exponentially. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that dividend increases, large or small, when you're working at a $500,000 portfolio, make a huge difference on your portfolio. Right, right. I mean, what's your average dividend yield bird on your portfolio right, right now? Right now, it's probably 3.5%. 3.5%? Yeah. So then, if you received a 7% growth rate on top of that, you know, if you had 500000 mm -hmm. you'd have $17,500 in forward income. Yeah. And then, if that $17,500 of income grew at 7%, if we just crank the numbers, yeah, plus here, the numbers out, Lanny. Let's get you know, Your income goes up by one thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars. Boom. Question to you: How much work did you do for that? None. I mean, we will say none, but it takes a lot yeah. of work <laughs> and effort to save and invest. Correct. Your dollars. Yeah, I, I misspoke when I said none. I mean, for literally watch from the time they announced that dividend increase to before and after that, I did nothing to see my income increase from that end of the spectrum. Now, so hopefully within this discussion and financial education session, you can see that dividend growth matters. Mm -hmm. It matters as a dividend growth investor. Your passive income can yep. grow automatically by itself. It'll outpace. Yeah, it'll outpace inflation for sure. Think about that in that cash is dead article that we were discussing our numbers that we cited used an interest rate of one percent on your savings account average inflation we show is somewhere between two percent and three percent johnson and johnson at six percent that's double the rate of inflation right there you are significantly gaining purchasing power on this income stream that's double inflation that's awesome right so dividend growth is very important that is why it's the third metric in the dividend diplomat stock screener um, now, Bert, is there anything else that you'd like to add related to dividend growth? Yeah, I think there's one other aspect I want to make sure we cover in this. We don't just like seeing a dividend growth in stocks for one year or two years or three years. We like to see companies that can demonstrate their ability to increase their dividend over many years. Hence why we're always preaching about dividend aristocrats, companies that have increased their dividend for 25 consecutive years. You even mentioned Johnson & Johnson's a dividend king. That's 50 plus years of consecutive dividend increases. It's one thing to grow your dividend for one year. It's another thing to show that your company is serious about seriously committing to consistently increasing their dividend payment to you. That's what we want to see. Dividends increasing through good times and bad. And lastly, mostly dividend investing can be very boring, but when it mm -hmm. comes to dividend increases, that puts a smile on my face. It puts a smile on Bert's face. Nice. And I really hope that it puts a smile on your face. There's nothing more exciting than getting that news blip on your phone that says J and J increases mm -hmm. dividend or target increases dividend. Yeah, not even just a blip on the phone. It's when I get the text message from Lanny that just says, stock ticker, dividend increase, and a ton of exclamation marks after. It's a lot of fun getting that text. Yeah, so hopefully you learned a lot from this video. Mm -hmm. You know, the math is obviously very simple to calculate what the dividend growth rate is and how to identify if a company has grown their dividend. You know, a few sources will list out in the description mm -hmm. of where we go for dividend growth rate history. Um, again, please leave your questions and comments below. We're here to hopefully help you reach financial freedom. Yep. This is Burton Lanyon from the, the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.